In this video, we're going to run an energy analysis in Revit using thermal properties. We're going to use the health center model that has been previously discussed to go through the steps to prepare your model for energy analysis with thermal properties, as well as show you how to apply and change the thermal properties. Start by opening the Analyze tab in the ribbon. The first and most important thing to do is make sure Building Elements mode is enabled. This will let Revit know to use the building elements for the energy model. From Energy Analysis, select Energy Settings. Make sure the building type is set to Hospital or Healthcare and the location is set to Las Vegas with Weather Station 59380. Looking over the other settings, we want to make sure Include Thermal Properties is checked. Including Thermal Properties means the Energy Analytical Model will pull thermal properties from the constructions used in Revit. In the case that a construction doesn't have thermal properties assigned, Revit will assign the thermal properties from the conceptual construction for the element. We won't be making any changes to these conceptual constructions, but it's good to be aware of where the defaults are set. That's all we need to set and check on in energy settings. Now we're going to move on to the Revit model. When we used conceptual constructions previously, Revit assumed that all the walls had the same properties. Now, when we click on a wall, we can see that there are different wall types in the model. What's more is that each wall type has a different construction and thermal properties. Click on any wall in the atrium portion of the building. Now click on Edit Type. This opens up Type Properties. We can get some useful information from this dialog box. For example, we can see a thickness as well as thermal properties that will be considered in analysis. These are the thermal properties that become enabled when we check the Thermal Properties box in Energy Settings. The R value for this wall is set to 54. Go ahead and close all the dialog boxes. Now select any wall from the central section of the building. Right click and select all instances in the project. Again, select edit type to open type properties. We can see the same properties. For this wall, the R value is 57. Let's change that. Notice how the analytical properties are grayed out. We can't edit them here. Before we edit the wall construction though, let's duplicate the wall and save it. To edit the wall constructions and properties, we need to scroll back up to Structure and select Edit. Now we can see the exact wall construction. We can also visualize it by selecting Preview. Edit Assembly shows the wall construction from exterior to interior and includes each layer of the wall and its thickness. Each layer has a material assigned to it. When we click on the material for a particular layer, we're taken to the Material Browser. You might be familiar with this part of Revit if you've done renderings before. Here we can see all the properties of the material layer we selected. The first few tabs have to do with the appearance of the material within Revit and for renderings. The last tab, Thermal, includes the thermal properties that are considered for energy analysis. You can edit these properties, but before you do, it's suggested to duplicate the existing material so you have a copy of the original. Close out of the Material Browser. We're going to change the construction of this wall. Before we do, note the resistance, R, and thermal mass at the top of the box. These are calculated based on the thermal properties of each layer and the thickness of the layer. They change dynamically as we change the constructions. Select the Finish Standing Seam Metal Roof Layer and press Delete. Now we can see the thermal mass has changed as a result. Now we're going to add a layer. Select Insert. It's okay if the layer isn't inserted where we want it in the construction right now. We can change that later. First, set the layer function to Finish 1. Next, we're going to set the material. When the material browser opens up, scroll down and select EIFS Exterior Insulation and press OK. Now the thickness should be set to 3 inches. 
If the layer isn't in the one position, select the layer row up or down button until it is. Note the resistance and thermal mass again. The new layer we added increased the R value, but decreased the thermal mass. Select OK to close edit assembly. Back on type properties, we can see the new thermal properties are represented as well. Press OK to apply the changes. Now we've enabled and changed some of the thermal properties in our Revit model. You can use this process to edit the properties for interior walls, roofs, floors, and ceilings. If you want to edit window properties, that's a different process that we'll cover in the following video. Now we're ready to run the analysis. From the Energy Analysis panel, select Run Energy Simulation. Confirm that you want to create an energy analytical model and confirm that you've checked the wholeness of the model. Name your project and run according to the change you made and start your simulation. This run took about three minutes. Now we can access the results. For more information, be sure to check out BPA Help and Revit Help. Watch the next video to learn how to change the thermal properties of the glazing in your model.